Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to Infected Hells to the freaking yeah. The first videos are doing so good on this. You guys want to see more? I want to play more. Let's get to it. The first things first. Oh, we got to get infected over there. Going to try and avoid that. Um, first things first. Let me show you what I've done off camera because I've done a little bit off camera. As you can see here, I've uh, gathered a bunch of logs and sticks in my stick and log holders. I've got a bunch of firewood. All right, I've got some food on the old fire. As a matter of fact. I think it's time to eat. There we go. Go, go, protein. All right, then we're going to grab some drink because anytime you eat that meat, it um, dries you out a little bit. Um, I also came over here and made a drying rack. So I know I have a drying rack, which is awesome because that's going to help that food last a lot longer. And I have been making a lot more farm plots. I need a lot more farm plots, man. Um, keeping these things up with water is kind of, uh, it's kind of a chore. <laughs> right uh keeping these things full of water is is kind of a chore so um i'm just gonna make a lot of them and when it rains i'll let the rain fill it up and i'll fill them up when i can but it's kind of hard to fill these things up i'm gonna be honest about that all right what are we gonna be doing today well i'm gonna go over some things that are very important first of all you can put stone in the forge and when you put stone in the forge and cook the stone you will get a random fragment all right. I don't know if you can get aluminum this way, um, but I've gotten copper and iron so far. If you take five of these, you can turn them into an ingot. So that's great, guys. Thank you very much for that. And I'm glad I'm going to have a use for all the stone I saved. That is just wonderful. It's getting a little dark here. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Um, I'm not loving the bow. All right. I feel like the bow, I don't know. It, the bow is kind of hit and miss with me. Sometimes it feels like it does a good amount of damage. Sometimes it doesn't. I shot a sheep right before I started recording. And I shot him three times, and he didn't die. So I think I'm going to kind of ditch the bow. Also, each arrow takes a stone. I'm probably going to ditch the bow. Um, I'll use it up as long as I have arrows for it, but then I'm probably going to stop. Uh, I was wondering about bark. Um, save the bark. You're going to need a lot of bark for cloth later on. Um, I've also been told you can throw animal hide away once you have a quiver. So it's not used for anything else. I'm going to save it because, who knows, maybe the, de maybe the developer will do an update for the game. And we won't have to restart, and then I'll need the animal hide. So I'm going to hold on to it for now. Uh, if it gets, like, more than one stack, maybe I'll throw it out. I don't know. I seem to have a lot of room, so shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, oh, here's the big one, guys. Here's the big one. Alt. This is very important for you guys that don't know. Alt, right-click. Puts things one at a time in there. By the way, I'm going to make some tallow while I'm talking. Alt, right-click. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are awesome. Uh, what else? What else? Alright, so today we are going to... Uh, by the way, you can make another water container, but you need aluminum for it. I don't know where you make it. Um, I'm gonna have to look... I'm gonna have to look for it, but you do need aluminum for it. We are not gonna be getting aluminum today. What we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be going up in the northwest of the map, and we're gonna look for crocs and try and get a bigger backpack. I think that'll be pretty cool. Um, I don't know exactly where the crocs are, but I've been told... That they are probably around here, like Swampland. That looks like Swampland to me. Um, so that would be a pretty cool place to go. I think this might be the best place to live in the game, honestly. Because you're so close to the Swampland and you're kind of zeroed in on a lot of these. Um, last episode when I came back from this base camp, um, I hit this one as well. There was no enemies and there was no um, technology there. I counted the technology. There's nine technology. And there's uh, three, six, seven, eight, nine... Of these base camps so i'm probably gonna have to hit all the base camps if you have to hit all the base camps maybe you would kind of want to live somewhere in the middle i'm not sure where the best place to live is but probably here i like being close to the swamp although maybe you don't need to be close to the swamp once you've already got the backpack i don't know maybe right here would be a nice central area so yeah that's it so that's what we're looking at that brings you guys up to speed and i'm still getting used to the controls here m is for map cage that's not too hard all right so is that oh you know what i'm gonna do now I'm going to finish uh, building all these things. I was actually going to go up to the croc area today, but we need a full day. Um, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to spend some time um, getting food. You know, uh, oh, here's a problem. Here's a problem with the game. All right, so I was making tallow, okay? I'm going to be making tallow because I want to make bandages. Let's see how we make bandages. Weapons, other bandages. Okay. Craft at the workbench restores 15 health when used and stops bleeding when applied to wounds. You can only use these if you have wounds. And I've got a real problem with that. And someone told me that, devel that the developer knows that's an issue and he's working on it. So we'll just have to wait for a fix for that. Um, so far, the only way to heal that I'm aware of is by eating or sleeping. <laughs> if you don't have a wound. And that that's an issue. That's a, it's a serious, 
serious issue. So I hope that gets I hope that gets fixed sooner rather than later. All right, so we do this. By the way, you shift left click to choose how many you want to put in there. There we go. So I'm gonna make some bandages because you do need them um, when you get hurt. So there's that. I'll do this off camera though. I just want to show you how I'm doing it. Uh, there we go. Right, that'll be good enough for now. And what we're gonna do is, since we're gonna go fight some crocs, I think it might be some a good time to make some armor. So let's go to the itempedia and let's go to armor and clothes. And leg armor, regular armor. It's all cloth and Kevlar, right? Oh, cloth. I don't have cloth. Crap. Damn it. Plant fibers for the jacket. Gives a little bit of armor. So I can make clothes. I mean, it's it gives you some armor, so I guess I should make... Oh, no, that's that's all cloth. I can make that. It's weird that the winter coat takes plant fiber, but everything else takes cloth. Oh, boy. Hold on. Uh, how do I get out of this? I don't remember. There we go. Where are you, buddy? Oh, there you are. So what I usually like to do is... By the way, the, 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 the one thing that this game has a real problem with is combat. The combat really needs to be dealt with. Because it's just... Look at this. I mean, sometimes you hit him, sometimes you don't. It's just... It, the combat really needs to work. Seriously needs to work. Other than that, though, I'm having a really good time with the game. The... The actual survival part of the game, I'm having a pretty good time with because, like, I have to really, like, get the food and drink and take care of myself. And that's what survival games are all about. Um, so that is pretty cool. I wonder what I... I probably need the loom or something uh, to be able to make cloth, I imagine. And, yeah, I can't. So, all right. Well, fair enough. Fair enough. I'm just spending this entire day um, getting food. As a matter of fact, I see some cucumbers out here. As far as I can tell, cucumbers are the healing food. Um, watermelons or whatever the other melon is, um, is the carbohydrate food. Um, if, if meat, like, well, regular meat from, like, boars, stuff like that. Uh, that stuff doesn't heal you at all. It's, like, two hit points. It's, like, nothing. Um, I went ahead and dried it on the drying rack, though. And it is, uh, going to last for quite a while. Um, like, 17 hours. And that's real life time, not game time. All right. Um, watermelon, you can see right there, gives almost no health. It's all carbs and stuff like that. Watermelon doesn't last that long either. Um, but you can see right there, cucumber lasts two hours and um, ten hit points. I mean, that's your that's your health item right there. And I'm also going to dry out some fish and see if fish will give me a good amount of hit points as well. That would be if fish gave you a good amount of hit points, that would be nice. We'll see. Man, I need to learn how to do a rain dance or something. I <laughs> like watering these crops takes so freaking long. It won't take as long once I get the next canteen. I think it's called a thermos uh, because it can hold more. But we probably won't be getting that this episode. But I guarantee you it's going to be next episode. Next episode is going to be all about aluminum. I just want that bigger bag. We're going to go fight some crocodiles. All right, so let me show you what I got so far. Um, I'm not going to water anymore. Just hopefully it rains. And we're going to come in here. Let me show you what I got so far. So I'm looking at uh, watermelons. Only last a half hour. Melons last two hours, and they give the same amount of health and carbs. So watermelons are crap. Just do the melons as far as I can. I mean, this gives you more thirst, but it's like, I don't know. I don't really care much about that. Um, cucumbers last two hours and also give you 10 health. Um, well, is there any reason to do cucumbers over melons? Yeah, for vitamins. Um, plus, they they take up less space, right? Because, yeah, yeah, the cucumbers take up less space if that matters to you. You could do cu two cucumbers for the... Sp for the spot of one melon plus plus the um the cucumbers uh give you more vitamins so cucumbers are still best for health uh, melons as far as i can tell are best for carbs in my very limited tests here so we'll see where things go from there i'm just gonna go ahead and eat that all right cool need some energy i'm gonna have to go to sleep early tonight i can go to bed to like one o'clock in the morning in in game uh <laughs> last night so yeah that was fun all right, well, I'm going to keep uh, keep doing my thing here. Tomorrow morning, we're definitely heading out to the croc area. All right, guys, it's snowing. I guess the uh, the seasons are starting to come through. Let's go ahead and empty that. Um, by the way, the fish is better than regular meat. Regular meat is 25 protein, 8 fat. Fish is 28 protein, 15 fat. Also, it gives you 4 health instead of 2. Honestly, that extra 2 health really isn't that big of a concern to me. Um, it's more the fat that I'm enjoying um, with the fish. All right. Oh, also, I went ahead and made the jacket. Remember that jacket I was talking about? That's why they made it so... That's why they made the jacket um, so it doesn't take cloth because they knew you are going to have to make it earlier than the other stuff. So I made the winter coat. And if you guys are wondering what that took to make, 
Um, it is right here. It's the only one that I know of that doesn't take cloth. All right, guys, I think we're just about ready to get going. I'm just going to take these cucumbers. Uh, I'm sorry, these watermelon seeds I just got. I'm going to put them away, and I would like to have... Oh, crap, I don't have any more melon seeds. All right, I guess I don't really have a choice. Uh, cucumber, watermelon. Okay, I guess we do have to grow some more watermelon. That's okay. I'll get some more melon seeds while I'm out and about. Uh, here we go. Harvest that. And plant. And plant. Okay. It's uh, 7 o'clock in the morning. So, there we go. Let's go ahead and save the game. And then we're going to head this way. Due west. Compass, 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 compass. Yeah, we got to go that way, right? Okay. Let's do it. Hopefully we won't freeze on the way. Hopefully we don't run into any foxes. Because apparently foxes are like the biggest freaking threat in the game. Um, some people are telling me when you're running through the uh, jungle like this, just go ahead and like, you know, harvest the, um, the edible plants. The, the problem is it's really hard to spot them. And you might think, well, go slower, but, I, you know, I only have so much time. Um, this place I'm going to is pretty far away, and I don't want to be caught out at night. That would be wonderful if that didn't happen. Um, stamina is a mother effort, too. All right, so I am going to need more carbs. Well, I'm going to hold off on the carbs for now, because I'm going to use that till I, um, I'm going to use the carbs to fill up the thirst. I'm going to hold off on everything for now. I don't know if your stamina regeneration or degradation is, con is connected to your, um, your hunger. But it would make sense. Oh my god, this place. This is going to take a long time to get here, by the way. Um, yeah, I don't know if they're connected or not, but it would make sense that they were. If they're not, I'd imagine they would be at some point. And I don't know if there's like... I don't know if there's any point to like saving stamina, or if you just, just run till you don't have any more, and then stop. Run till you don't have any more, and then stop. But that's the way I'm going to do it, because I just don't know. And I'll keep checking the map whenever I stop. Man, this place is freaking far as hell. I would still like to have my stamina on the screen at all times, as well as my health. So it looks like you don't want your stamina to get all the way down because when it does get all the way down, it kind of like, here, let's watch it. I can hold down the F key. So when the stamina gets all the way down, it's it doesn't come back right away. So let's see what happens when we stop when it's low. Nope, see, it doesn't come back right away either. So as far as I can tell, there's no downside to running your stamina all the way down. Unless maybe you don't have the, the energy to fight you know, if something attacks you. That's the only thing I can think of. And, um, yeah, I will keep a lookout for, you know, stuff in the, you know, you know, edibles and stuff while I'm going out. But like I said, I'm going to miss a lot of them. I know it. Um, I'll probably see the cucumber trees, but that'll probably be it. <laughs> I'll probably miss everything else. I didn't realize how long it takes you to get around in this game. I guess I could probably stay out there in the night. Um, do the, let, let me ask you this. If I go out there in the night, here we go. We got some corn. If I go out there in the night, and... Oh, I don't have any room. Alright, well, that's fine. Um, I'll just have one of these. And the dried fish doesn't take up that much space, but I'm going to have it anyway. Okay, cool. Now we got some corn. I don't think corn's really good for much. Yeah, I mean, what is corn? Vitamins, that's it. I'm just going to eat them to get it out of my inventory. So we do that, and that and that it's nice to have a lot of food right now what was i saying i don't freaking remember oh yeah if i get like if i get stuck out during the night like will the infected find me like oh someone had a new name for the infected called um instead of vambies how about zom zompires zompires i don't love zompires either but i like it better than Zam uh, vambies some like vamp sounds like vamp vamp Babies. I don't know. <laughs> it's, a, it's a weird name. Love the concept, though. Hey, right, guys. We are just about here. That's where we are on the map. Didn't take that long to get over here. Felt like it was going to take longer than it did. All right. How are we looking at stamina? Our stats are looking pretty good. I'm glad I took some time. Uh, a day. It took me about two days in game to get my food situation, you know, under control. I'm glad I took that time, though. I really am. Alright, so are these crocs going to sneak up on us? Are they aggro? I have no idea. Let's go and save. I don't know anything about them. Are they not going to be out because it's snowing? Are they going to be in the water? I don't know, guys. These are the questions we need answered. Let's see if we can find one. Holy crap, dude. You guys know. If you guys know me, I already got hurt, by the way. If you guys know me, when I'm on the pause screen, stuff just got real. 
Oh my god. I didn't even see him, dude. He just freaking pounced on me. These things are freaking huge. How did I not see him? Yeah, that's not gonna work. There we go. You're not dying. You're dead now. I should probably throw the spear. Alright, I'm dead. Those are some giant ass crocodiles. By the way, you could just you could just reload the game. And you guys said that there is a death penalty, and you're right. When you come back, you I spawned at my base where my where my bed was, and I had 95 health. Uh, so yeah, there is a penalty for dying. A pretty steep one too, apparently. Um, a lot of people are saying it's um it's hard to come back from that. Um, I'm gonna keep my my uh, distance a little bit. Maybe use the bow. It's the only thing I could think of, man, because that was that was pretty nasty. One thing this game has is a lot of, like, underbrush or whatever you call it. Like, when it was, like, just freaking stuff everywhere. Can't see anything. Underbrush? Is that the word I'm looking for? I don't know. You get what I'm saying. A lot of plants and stuff in the way. Alright, let's see if we can find these guys. Where are you? Where are you? I know you're around here somewhere. Is that one? Yep, there they are. Okay. Alright. Maybe we could just get one this time? Wouldn't that be nice? I think I hit a tree. Okay, got him there. And it looks like we just have one. Cool. What's he doing? Is he dead? There's no way he's dead. He's probably stuck. No, he's not dead. He's dead now. Hey, guys, you know, maybe the bow isn't so bad. Yep, they're getting stuck there. See that? Shoot him right in his little lizard eye. Hey, guys, you know what? I don't love the bow against the infected or animals, but against crocs, oh boy. It's not so bad against crocs. I guess crocs are an animal, but you get what I'm saying. I got turned around. Crap, I don't know where they are. I can't get out of the water. Okay. Oh, see, I got turned around. Everything looks the same in here. Come on, don't get bit. Don't get bit. Alright, he dead. I gotta loot these guys. Come on. Alright, you only get one skin per. That's gonna be tough, dude. Where were the other ones? There they are. Nope, those are rocks. Damn it! Yeah, he really got turned around in here, and I don't know where the other ones are. Let's take a look at my health. Health is doing okay. Oh, hold on. Harvest that. Damn it, where are the other ones? Alright, there's the one that's alive. There's the dead ones. Okay, I see him. I don't have any stamina left. Let's get some stamina. Bandage. I can't use bandages. Um, but what I could do is I can eat this. Get some health back. There we go. Yeah, these guys are tough, man. I, I like the bow against them. I didn't like the bow against uh, deer or anything like that. But I do like the bow against these guys. Alright, I think it takes three hits. So we're going to let him get out of the water. Ugh, I can turn around. Oh, am I out of, oh crap, I'm out of arrows. Oh boy. That's not good. Okay, take that. I can't believe I ran out of arrows. It sucks. He definitely hit me. Oh, didn't do too much to, to me, though. Honestly, I think you're just better off... Like, the combat's not not wonderful. <laughs> I think you're better off just standing there and, you know, dealing the damage. I want, I'm going to want more arrows now. I'm not leaving here until I get eight of these. Alright, let's go ahead and eat some more of these. Uh, we need fats and protein. We really need his hit points. Alright, we're almost out of ways to heal our hit points. And I'm out of arrows, which isn't good. Yeah, you don't get your arrows back. It's supposed to take three arrows per croc. Yeah, you want to come out here at like 25, 30 arrows. But I'm going to see what I can do. Alright, let's see if we can get this guy without throwing the spear. I'm not really sure how to back up an attack. It doesn't seem to... If I'm like backing up... Oh, boy. Okay, hit him there. Okay, I just got him twice. Okay, he did hurt me, which is good. Because now... I can use a bandage. Get some health back. Oh, wait. Did I get hurt two spots? Okay. Okay. Where's my health at? 
Oh boy, he hurt me pretty bad. Okay. Yeah, this is tough, man. I don't know how you guys kill him without the bow. I, I, there's probably some technique that I'm not, like, realizing that, you know, I could use my advantage, but I'm just not seeing it. I still need another three of these guys. So I ran around there looking for more crocs um, for a bit, and then I was thinking to myself, 46 of 50 weight? I don't really have a choice. I'm going to have to go home anyway. Um, I'm pretty sure these things are pretty damn heavy. <clears throat> So, yeah, we're going to go home and, um, you know, stock back up, get our hit point stuff ready to go. And then we're just going to go back. I was talking to someone on, um, I was talking to someone on Discord and they said that, um, when they were out there, they killed five crocs just like I did. And then they had to go home because of weight issues. So I'm thinking there might only be five crocs. He said when he went back, they respawned. Um, so I'm going to go, I'm going back because I want to get this thing, uh, made today. That would be awesome. So I'm going to go home, get everything situated and, uh, we're going to head back tomorrow. Kill some more crocs, get our bag. Came home, took care of business, slept through the night. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to load up on everything I possibly can. Uh, I've been doing a lot of farming, a lot of like gathering and stuff. Uh, it looks like we should be okay for this. Um, I did make 11 arrows. Between the 11 arrows and the way we can get hit points back here, I think we should be just about okay to get the rest of the crocs. So let's head back out to the, let's head back out to the swamp, kill us some crocs. And we are back. And I already see the crocs are back as well. So that's awesome. Beautiful. Hit him twice. Let him get out of the water. And then we'll finish him on, on land. We only need three croc skin. So there you are. Yeah, the bow is definitely the way to go with these guys. No doubt. Oh, is he dead? No, he's stuck. Is he dead? I can't tell. No, he's not dead. He's stuck. Definitely stuck. Wow. Okay. Let's get him with this. Now he's dead. Okay. Well, that was pretty interesting. <laughs> Alright. I think I'm going to try and stab him with a spear. My friend told me if you um, stab him three times quick enough, they won't do much damage to you, if any. But I'd like to get just one. That's the thing. I don't want to fight a bunch of them at once. Alright, I see three of them over there. I'd like to just get one, maybe. Let's see if we can just grab one. I'm not going to try and stab three of them all at the same time. They have a habit of sneaking up on you, too, when you're hunting them. Alright, here we go, boy. Alright, let's do it. Come on, buddy. Come on. You aggroing yet? Really, you're not aggroing me, huh? Fine. No, I want to see if I can stabby stab. Come on, bro, I'm right here. That's a rock. Okay, good good job, Gage. You're a freaking pro hunter, buddy. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, come on. Oh, see, he's stuck again. All right, well, they just keep getting stuck, so I guess I'll take advantage of that. Oh, here we go. I heard another one. Oh, here we go. Okay. Yep, see, three times. And I... Did I break my spear or... Oh, boy. Yep, I think I broke my spear. Well, I broke my spear the second time. That's damn sure. Okay, let's grab that. Let's go up here and heal. And heal. And heal. Uh, oh, God. Okay. Well, that's not good. Um... Eat. Eat. Come on, eat, bro. I wish there was an easier way to eat. 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 <laughs> eat everything, dude. Eat everything. Oh, here we go. We got some more right here. Beautiful. Alright. I think we're going back to the bow. Oh, there he is. I think headshots matter, guys. Because I have to hit him more times when I don't hit him in the head, it seems. That's four. That's more than I need. 
All right, so let's go ahead and make the bag. By the way, my food situation, meat, fats, thirst, all looks pretty good. I just got to keep uh, watering those um, those those plant beds out there. Um, watering the plant beds out there is a real bitch. Like, it's just awful. Like, you have to water them way too much. Um, that's going to definitely help when I make the canteen, which can hold more water. Uh, it'll be a little bit easier that way. But, man, it is... Um, yeah, it's no joke. All right, so let's go ahead and take this stuff out. And I don't know if I have to make this on the workbench, but we're going to find out. Two. There we go. Large backpack. So that should automatically go on me. All right, so I was hopelessly stuck in this window. And I, whatever I pressed, I couldn't get out. Um, I saved the game while in this window. And, oh, boy, that was scary. Uh, and when I came back, I was out of it. So that's good. So now look at how big my bag is, right? Oh, your food bag doesn't get any better. It's the same bag. <laughs> Come on, bro. It's the same bag. All right, well... Beggars can't be cheap. Hey, man, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good bag. I do like that a lot. And uh, our weight now goes up to 75, which is also really cool. All right, guys, I am going to call this one here. If you haven't enjoyed the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.